Got to get it, Papa. Well, here I am. And guess what? where I'm at? I'm in Crowley, Louisiana. And you look back there, besides a no vehicle allowed sign, uh, that's the parish courthouse back there and the big beautiful oak trees and everything. And, and oh, look, over here, somewhere over there somewhere over there there's a little building and uh that's where you go vote when you got to vote and stuff but uh we're not here to vote yet that's coming up uh you're probably asking well I, well I don't know what you're showing me the courthouse for well i'm showing you the courthouse because something's uh going to be coming pretty soon and this is going to be transformed into a a festival wonderland <laughs> and uh this is actually a very special uh, look dat episode because uh, we fixing to do the look dat international rice festival extravaganza part one is what ha about to happen and then we're gonna have a part two and if if there's too much trouble or something I might have a part three but uh, this is part one and I've got to start it off in a very appropriate way because we're just gonna show what's gonna happen to get ready for the festival and so you'll see some interesting things and uh, we'll see what else happens but here's a true sign that the festival is on the way look at that yep the portable toilets are already being delivered and set up ready for action and uh, right here we got the right here on the court circle because a lot of people are going to be down here and uh they're going to need that them if you know what i mean but uh look in front of the courthouse over here we're going to look all over the place but that's going to be the main stage over there and there's going to be all kinds of fun and excitement going on and look that wait my pet got over here look that He left the field, he's coming to the big city. I think I'm making him nervous. I wanna get a little closer, but I don't wanna get too close. He might attack me and I don't want a, a crazy happy attack video for America's most injured videographers. Boy, look that. this is not really a regular occurrence in town this is definitely actually the center of town this is the court circle and uh, we get birds around here but usually they're not quite that big here's my hand for scale oh sorry <laughs> he's being real still so we can't see him you know how they do that Look that. He's doing his slow motion walking. Now he's not moving at all. Can you see him? See right here, there's some barricades they got ready. So you can kind of tell how tall he is. That's the barricades, they're for scale. Yeah. They're about waist high. Oh, here's some people to see if they see him too. Oh, he's going in the bushes. See, they didn't see him either. But there it is, that's the main stage. 
And uh, you're probably saying, well, there's gonna be some sharp people under that stage. Well, just sit down and shut up for a minute because you see how it's got these things on the corners there? That whole roof goes boo, goes way up in the air and uh, makes it big and tall. So tall people can get on there too. And uh, they can sing and dance and play some music and uh, have pageants and eat rice and all kind of good stuff. But you'll see that once it gets started. That's a couple of days away. But this is the uh, courthouse and the courthouse grounds right here. And the court circle, the, the road goes all the way around it. So, you know, you gotta get ready for that. See how they, they going around and around? There they go, see? And look, to make sure that nobody runs off with the, uh, with the stage, they hook it to some gigantic concrete uh, Lego blocks and they put that there and at night people step on them and it hurts their feet and this is the view from the short stage because <laughs> it hadn't been raised up yet but you look way down there see where the tall building is back there behind the giant finger uh that's where all the carnival stuff is going to be all the rides and the games of chance and the action and all that and the pluck a duck and the the pop whack-a-mole and all that it's all, all gonna be back there, all that. And look that! That's the, the Crowley Motor Company, as you can see up there behind a the giant finger. <laughs> and, uh, but it's also City Hall. Originally, it was the Crowley Motor Company. That was the Ford dealership back in the 1930s and such. And uh, now it's uh, City Hall for Crowley. And there's a cool museum in there and stuff like that. We have to go look at one day. And there's the big St. Michael's Church, Catholic Church back there. And that's a famous building a lot of people have been to. It's the Grand Opera House of the South. And they have a big stage. You see that big part sticking up back there? That's uh, on top of the stage back there. And they have music and they have uh, plays and they have pageants and they have weddings and they have uh, you know all kind of good stuff going on in there. But look down there yep that's the parish courthouse we look over here look down here to see the the grass part you won't be able to see it in a couple of days and you'll find out why <laughs> there's all kind of secret stuff going on around here but uh yeah this is big downtown Crowley and you're getting ready for the hysterical uh, historic rice festival <laughs> I get those words mixed up sometimes, but uh, I know that because they have a flag about it right there. Look that! And look that! You say, well, what's that all over the ground there? Well, that's a stage. Doesn't look much like a stage yet, but it's going to be one pretty soon. And they had to block the whole street off and everything. And they already got some other stuff over there and then boxes. And look that, that's going to be a stage, there's going to be bands and people dancing and all kind of stuff going on right here. And look over there, see that sign? Ah, you better get ready because it's, it's on the way. And there's the Rice Theater, the hysterical, uh, historical Rice Theater. And uh, when I was little they used to show movies in there and now they do uh, plays and recitals and things like that right here in downtown and there's that's what they call the neutral ground the grass part it's gonna be all covered up with booths and food and food and excitement and fun and activities hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so there we are and there won't be any trucks and cars driving around down here and that's the skyscraper of Crowley, uh, the First National Bank. And it has the giant flag on top. <laughs> but all this is going to look a lot different in a couple of days. None of these cars will be parked here. You can't park here because you can't get down here on your, in your car. <laughs> so get ready because you're not going to believe what it's going to look like. And it, this has been happening, like that sign said, for 85 years, since the 1930s.
same streets same location same festival but it, it changed over the years and it's a little different every time you come so look at that and see there's you got to walk all the way down there to get to that main platform so bring you some comfortable shoes when you get here and down on this end at the the connection between highway 90 you see the sign over there highway 90 historical of uh, uh, historic highway 90 uh, also known as the old spanish trail to some people and uh highway 13 and uh, i mean everything Th this is downtown and all this gonna be be loaded with with booths and stuff all down the middle and down there where that big truck's coming that, that's the beginning of where the carnival is going to be and it's going to be exciting and festive and action-packed and all that and you can ride on them things and get all sick and everything and uh, you'll be in the shadow of the gigantic uh, super tall First National Bank with the giant flag on top that's going to be there and oh here he comes look out everybody but yeah, you, it, there's going to be rides and all kind of stuff back in here. So we're going to see that soon enough. And that's Highway 90. It goes west down there. Eventually you get to uh, California. And if you go on this side, you, you go down far enough, you hit Florida. But uh, for the festival, we just got to stay here in town. All right. And y'all can see we're far, far away now from where the courthouse is down there. And there's the, the giant skyscraper with the big flag on top. Uh, that's the bank. And this is where all the carnival rides and, and the games of skill and all that's going to be. Uh, all around right here. You won't be able to see hardly anything over here. And uh, they already look like they got arrived over here. And there's crews and they, they put stuff together. Look, look that! It's all them little tings they're going to put on them rides. And uh, it's going to be pretty fancy. And all this is going to be nothing but rides. It's going to be like Disney World all over the place around here where I'm standing. There'll be millions of people knocking each other down to get on the rides. And it's going to be super exciting. And there's even going to be some food. Food and snacks and corn dogs and cotton candy and all kind of good stuff like that. And maybe some funnel cakes too if you're lucky. Come around the corner here. Oh, and look that! Oh, the corner was getting here. Oh, look that! What that? What that? Look that! Oh, and look back there. Oh, and look that! Oh, and look that! The carnival is here! Look that! The preparations are being made! Look that, everybody! Look that! Look that! And look that! Well, you say, well, that's just a parking lot. What's so special about that? Well, it's, today it's a parking lot, but in a couple of days, it's going to be a car show. And all the cars are going to be right there, just like those cars are parked, kind of, except they're going to be showing off. They're not just parked there to be parked. And uh, that's behind the bank over here. So watch out for that. But look, right across the street. And now you're saying, well, it's just a big empty lot. There ain't nothing there. Well, there's nothing there right now right now but during the festival it's turned into a, a a family wonderland and there's gonna be a big tent and they're gonna have some delicious food and they'll have some music and over here they're gonna have some stuff for the kids to jump around in and stuff some of them big inflated things and uh all the way up into the grass over here and that's sponsored by the Baptist Church the first Baptist Church to be exact and I hear some bells 
So something's about to happen. <laughs> but, yep, this area's gonna look a whole lot different pretty soon. And look that. Who knows what that is? I know what that is. Let's look at it a little closer before you start guessing. Look at that. That's a contraption, yeah. Let's see. See all the belts? It's all, it uh, look like crazy belts, but they're not really crazy. That's a thrashing machine. Man, you say, well, what you use a thrashing machine for? Well, for thrashing. But this was a, one of the old or one of the new <laughs> when they started mechanizing rice production and grain production uh this was this was state of the art and uh it's it's pretty cool oh and look it's got big uh see the big saw blade teeth inside there I bet you wonder how in the world does this thing work? And they got chains and belts and more belts and there's some more belts over here. <laughs> and belts that come come from the bottom and they go to the top and they, they go around there and they come out here and look that and then you pull on that and you adjust that and you turn that crank. That, see that crank there that you see that? You turn that and then you get up here and turn that. And you move that <laughs> and you and you get rice <laughs> but uh yeah this is a vintage uh threshing machine and in this area they actually have a few of these around uh div families uh farming families that had saved them they put them in the barn or whatever and they sat for a long time and then they decided well let's see if we can make it work again and they would pull them out and get them running again and so every once in a while like you're gonna see on the probably the next look that you're gonna see this coming up they're gonna demonstrate how this thing works but this isn't all of it this is just the thrashing machine this doesn't have an engine in it it's like none of that stuff's gonna turn unless you got something to turn it with and you'll find out about that when uh on a, on another episode but basically I, I can explain it to you a little bit the rice is out in the field and you cut it cut big long pieces it looks like big long pieces of grass with the little tings on the end of it and you take them and you throw them in there kush, kush, kush. and you take them and you when you throw them in there and it pulls it in that's those little claw teeth and all that stuff and they and it, woo, 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 and it, whoosh, 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 and it does all that and it, and the wheels turn around and the belts is going everywhere and it goes in and it, and then all of a sudden it comes out and it comes up in there and it comes up through there and it goes over there and it comes through this pipe and rice pops out right there and they catch it in a sack and you say well what's that far over there you well we hadn't got to that part yet see the rice comes out right here and you catch it in a sack and you hand it to your partner and he puts it on the trailer and the horse pulls the trailer back back to the uh to the farm and they load it up and they mill it and everything and get you nice pretty white rice that uh everybody likes to eat but the business end back here that's where all the straw comes out because you see you put it in it's still attached to all the grass and it's everything basically the stalks and it pulls the rice off and it pops out over there and the straw comes through and pops out over here and that's the fun part because it shoots all over the place and uh, you'll see that when they do the demonstration I'm gonna make it a point to show that to you but this is a thrashing machine. Check back soon for more Look Dad.